और सामने से एक बंदा आया ये बैंड्रा में हो रहा है साढ़े पांच बजे सुबह ठीक है मैं मस्त भागने जा रही हूँ वो बंदा आया स्कूटर रुका दिया उसने बाइक रुका दिया एंड ही स्टार्ट मास्टर बेटिंग राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी यूर एंड माइंड मारिंग मे बी लाइक टेन ईयर्स यंग टू यू दोस्तों आज मेरे फेवरेट टॉपिक पर हम बात करने वाले हैं एंड दैट इज वलरेबिलिटी सुरेश मैनन अतुल खत्री और बहुत सारे स्टैंड अप कमेडियंस से जब मैं मिली तो एक चीज मैंने देखा है कि वो वलनरेबिलिटी में उस्ताद है तो आज के इस पॉडकास्ट में द लिंसिया रोजारियो शो हम आपको बताएंगे कैसे अपने ट्रू वर्जन को आप लोगों के सामने पेश कर सकते हैं We have from Jabalpur a very interesting personality, a rising star from the comedy world. We have Vivek Samtani joining us today, or वो हमें बताएंगे how you can make vulnerability your strength in life. अगर ये video आपको पसंद आया तो आप जरूर subscribe करना. Vivek, hi Lincia, how are you? I am wonderful. कैसे चल रही है ज़िंदगी आपकी? बहुत अच्छी चल रही है बहुत खुश हूँ बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है कि आप यहाँ पर आए हैं और हमारे साथ बातचीत करने वाले हैं आप लोगों को अच्छा लगता है मुंबई वालों को सही में छोटे शहर से लोगों से मिलना ऑफ कोर्स तो इग्नोर क्यों करते हो आप लोग पूरे टाइम इग्नोर किसने किया मैंने तो आपको बिल्कुल नहीं इग्नोर किया मैं दो महीने से आपको मैसेज कर रही हूँ अच्छा That uh, the point being when you cross that vulnerability वाला factor yes. That happens a lot when you come from a small town, right? तो मेरे को तो ऐसे ही लगता था कि starting में that when people try to glorify big cities a lot, you always feel a little inferior. Don't you feel like that? Like आप originally कहाँ से हो? मैं actually Mangalore से हूँ. Mangalore से हो. Mangalore exactly कहाँ आता है? Mangalore आता है Karnataka में. तो आपको ऐसा लगा था जब आप यहाँ पे shift हुए थे ऐसा? मैं तो मतलब बचपन से यहाँ पर ही रही हूँ. So that is You know, I'm more a Mumbai कर देना Mangalorean, but मुझे ये feel होता है कि it doesn't make a difference, right? कि आप small town से हो या आप एक big city से हो. अगर आपको आपको small feel करना है, like I used to feel that. I used to feel very non-confident. मैं तो बिल्कुल मतलब मुझे ऐसे लगता था लोगों के सामने मैं vulnerable क्यों? क्यों ये मेरा गलत फायदा ना उठाए? So that was always there. Then what is the one thing you felt that actually built up that confidence in you? What was the changing factor in your life which you were like, oh, ये सबसे पहले ऐसे stand-up comedians मिले मुझे, उनसे बातचीत करने लगी और आ गया हूँ। अब लोग किधर वैसे ही मरी रहती हैं हर जगह से। That's how we start doing stand-up, I think, because after a point we just don't really care that what other people might think. Did you feel? हाँ। Don't you feel like that? Like what other people? अरे यार मैं I think most of my life ना विवेक मैं यही सोचती रही कि यार ये क्या सोच रहा है मेरे बारे में ये क्या सोच रही है मेरे बारे में I think मैंने पूरी अपनी ज़िंदगी ऐसी काटी है अब जाके मतलब पिछले मैं कहूँगी चार पांच साल में I have been better but before that I had other people thinking syndrome but don't you feel that other people will only have one perspective on you based on the judgments that they make. Like mm. say for example, agar ek kamra hai, hai. Like this is something which I used to think when I started doing stand-up mm. initially. Mm. While coming from a small town because when I used to like perform in Mumbai, mm. initially obviously my English wasn't that good because I belonged to a small town like Jabalpur. So when I come here, everyone is so fluent in English, they are performing comedy, everyone is cheering. So I was already feeling inferior. While I realize that dominantly in India people speak Hindi more, apart from cities mm. like Mumbai and all that stuff. I realize that if there is, for example, a camera, okay, there is something which I used to tell myself to figure out how to actually deal with the judgments that people will have while doing stand-up. Because I feel like if there is a camera and there is an object in between, so if you try to throw light from different perspectives on that object, it will always cast a different shadow. Mm. The shadow being the darkness that the people try to see in you. And that's the judgment that they'll make from their point of view. कि उनके क्या reflection आ रहे हैं आप पे? अब वो कभी ज़्यादा हो सकता है, कभी बहुत कम हो सकता है, right? But that doesn't change the object. And henceforth, if you always try to live your life based on the shadows that people are trying to cast on you, you'll always live in the shadow. 
but you'll so never you actually figure out what the object is and hence for it took me like more than 2 years to figure out that I can do stand up then it took took me 2 years to finally be like yeah I'm very comfortable on stage but that's a very beautiful metaphor matlab जो भी लाइट हो ऑब्जेक्ट एकदम मस्त है एकदम चंगा है दैट मींस सेम ना एंड इवेंचुअली जब आप डिफरेंट पर्सपेक्टिव से किसी चीज को देखोगे हाँ. तो वो आपको ज्यादा बेहतर जानेगा तभी जो अपने लोग पास होते हैं लोग हाँ. होते हैं लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल योर मदर और योर फादर और लाइक द पीपल दैट यू मैरी और यू बी विथ हेंस फॉर दे नो द ऑब्जेक्ट रियली वेरी वेल तो उनका जजमेंट फिर भी आपके लाइफ में मैटर करता है क्योंकि उनका जजमेंट किसी पॉजिटिव सेंस से आ रहा होता है बट डोमिनेटली जैसे जब मैं एज ए सेट की फ्रॉम कमिंग फ्रॉम स्मॉल टाउन मेरे को जब यहाँ पे इनिशियली लगता था कि लोग मेरे को जज कर रहे थे मेरे को थोड़ा फर्क पड़ता था बट आफ्टर द पॉइंट बना रियलाइज कि हाँ एट द एंड वो भी उतने ही जज हैं किसी और शहर से जितना मैं हूँ तो इट्स नॉट लाइक कि मेरे को ज़्यादा बेटर कार्ड्स मिले या उनको बेटर कार्ड्स मिले इज इज दैट कि एंड आई एम ग्रेटफुल दैट आई वॉज बॉर्न इन अ स्मॉल टाउन बिकॉज आई थिंक देयर आई हैड नो प्रेशर टू कम्पीट लाइक आई वॉज प्रिवलेज सिंस द वेरी बिगनिंग इन लाइफ तो मेरे को वहाँ पे प्रेशर नहीं लगा कभी पर कंपटीशन बहुत ज़्यादा है। ऑब्वियसली बिग टाउन से। हाँ, वो तो मुझे ऐसे लगा मुझे ऐसे लगा कि स्मॉल टाउन में भी अभी काफी कंपटीशन हो गया बिकॉज द इंटरनेट ऑब्वियसली ग्लोबलाइजेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंडिया अगर आप देखो तो ऑब्वियसली वो छोटे शहर से भी अब उतने ही ज्यादा लोग देख रहे हैं अब जैसे The one thing which I feel hmm. is very common now that the difference between small town and big towns has been the gap very less is because of the internet. Because hmm. the same 16 year old or 15 year old can watch Netflix and have the equal amount of reflection from the Western society that maybe someone from 16 year old being in Mumbai. So now that obviously come has reduced, people know more about this world. But initially when I was growing up, like I realized there was some slim line where you had to cross to be like, okay, like. Oh, माई पेरेंट्स आर वेरी नाइस बट आई स्टिल रिमेंबर कि मेरे जो रिलेटिव हैं वो भी दे आर स्टिल लाइक यू मुंबई में आई एंड एंड दे स्टिल डोट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई डू फॉर अ लिविंग आई कैन नॉट मेक दम अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई डू फॉर अ लिविंग क्या बोलते हैं आप क्या मैं नहीं बोलता हूँ मैं अरे क्या कर रहे हो विवेक डू द क्लोजेस्ट दैट पीपल कैन गेट टू इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टैंड अप दैट पीपल कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन स्मॉल टाउन इज कपिल शर्मा तो अगर कोई भी रिलेटिव आता है तो मेरी माँ बोलती है कि मेरा लड़का कपिल शर्मा करता है कपिल शर्मा करता है कपिल शर्मा करता है कपिल शर्मा करता है कपिल शर्मा कर रहे लेकिन गवर्नमेंट के ऊपर कुछ बोलना एक टेक देना क्या चैलेंजिंग होता है बिकॉज देयर ऑल्सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वालनरेबल और इंडिया में आपने देखा है कि स्टैंड अप कमेडियंस जो गवर्नमेंट के ऊपर या पॉलिटिकल स्टैंड लेते हैं तो प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है हाँ तो उसके साथ आप कैसे डील करते हैं आई थिंक डील करने की बात नहीं है मेरे को ऐसा लगता है कि कुछ कुछ चीज़ें आप जैसे किसी शहर में टैक्स भरते हो तो द सेम वे आपको फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच भी वो टैक्स भरने के साथ ही मिलती है कि कुछ ना कुछ तो आपको देना ही पड़ेगा गवर्नमेंट को इन टर्म्स ऑफ लाइक कि फॉर एग्जांपल अपने कंट्री में जैसे स्पेसिफिकली आप रिलीजन इज अ लिल सेंसिटिव टॉपिक व्हिच यू शुडेंट टॉक अबाउट बिकॉज इफ यू नोटिस अपना कंट्री बहुत ही रिलीजन ड्रिवन है बी एट लाइक गवर्नमेंट ये सब मैं को नहीं बोलना है बट लाइक इट्स वेरी रिलीजन ड्रिवन तो अगर आप बाकी कंट्रीज में देखोगे लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिंगापुर या सऊदी अरेबिया अगर उधर की कंट्रीज तो वहाँ पर तो आप कुछ भी नहीं बोल सकते बी एट रिलीजन बी एट गवर्नमेंट वेल इफ यू सी इन द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ यू एस वहाँ पर आप बहुत ओपनली बोल सकते हो प्रेजिडेंट को भी और इंडिया में आई फील काफ़ी लेवल तक फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच तो है हाँ अब ऑब्वियसली लाइक जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू लव योर जस्ट हाइपोथेटिकली इफ यू लव योर फादर टू मच ठीक है एंड आई से योर फादर इज स्टूपेड इवन दो इवन इफ यू इज स्टूपेड एंड यू लव योर फादर यू ट्राई टू डिफेंड दैट राइट बिकॉज इज योर फादर एंड द सेम वे आई फील दैट इन आर कंट्री वी हैव ग्लोरिफाइड सम पीपल सो मच दैट वी सी दैम मोर देन आर फादर तो उस वो अगर कुछ गलत भी कर रहा है और उसको कोई बोलता है ना तो वी गो अब एंड बी ऑन टू डिफेंड दैम हेंस फॉर द नंबर ऑफ पीपल डिफेंडिंग द गवर्नमेंट आर वे टू मच इन आर कंट्री बट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नेवर ग्लोरिफाई समन टू मच बिकॉज यू बींग अ वूमन यू नो दैट मैन चाइल्ड और मैन इन दिस कंट्री आर ग्लोरिफाइड सो मच दैट हेंस फॉर दे आर ऑलवेज अटैच टू द रीगो वेल वेमेन आर ऑलवेज सप्रेस्ड ऑन सम लेवल Again, in small towns, not in Mumbai, Bangalore, Delhi. I think there is fairly amount of equal rights that women get. But for, for me, even in my like family, initially, for my sister to get married in another religion and shifting abroad, it was a big thing up until last five years. Now it's all fine. So 
तो आई थिंक स्लोली स्लोली एक एक करके इट अनरावल्स इज वॉट एफ उसमें टाइम लगता है एंड बिकॉज उसमें टाइम लगता है तभी समवन नीड्स टू बी वेरी वॉलरेबल अनफिल्टर्ड डू द थिंग्स दैट पीपल डोंट से दैट दे शुड टॉक अबाउट बट वॉलरेबिलिटी का सीन ये भी है कि आप मिसजड और मिस इंटरप्रिटेड काफ़ी हो जाते हो लाइक यू आर प्रजेंटिंग योर सेल्फ बट दिस ऑलवेज दिस थिंग दैट मैं ये कहना चाहता हूँ लेकिन ये मिस इंटरप्रिट हो जाता है वो सामने वाला जो है नहीं but, समझता है बट दैट इज द जॉब मैं द जॉब इज ऑल्सो टू मेक मिस्टेक्स अगर मैं कोई गलती नहीं करूँगा पाँच बार तो मेरे को छठवीं बार में कैसे पता चलेगा कि मेरे को वो गलती नहीं करनी है एंड हैंस फॉर दैट कम्स लाइक कि मैं कम से कम तीन मिस्टेक्स करूँ ये फिगर आउट करने के लिए I mean, I'm pretty sure you would have failed relationships, right? And you were like, you were very vulnerable in those relationships as well. But while being vulnerable in those failed relationships, you realize that what you actually want and what you actually don't want. So the same way, when you we make mistakes, be be it up on stage. So it's very important to make those kind of mistakes and fail at so many things that we cannot even count. And that's how I think it gets better because I think in India, say for example. Uh, if I talk about domestic violence a lot uh, at my shows. आपके I have heard in small town it's quite not in small town. You know Vivek, I'm hmm. just uh, adding to when you spoke about domestic violence hmm. since you talk a lot. I had a friend who I met in Bangalore two days hmm. ago, and she told me कि उनके जो भाई है older भाई उसको अभी भी झापड़ मारते हैं. उनके पापा जो है मारवाड़ी फैमिली से है अभी भी उनके पापा जो है उन्हें खूब मारते हैं क्योंकि उन उन्हें उन्होंने कैथलिक से शादी की एंड इट वेंट लाइक दे शी वेंट अगेंस्ट द कास्ट राइट तो मुझे लाइक अपेरेंटली शी टोल मी कि उसका हाथ जो है बांधा गया और उसके भाई उसको लात मार रहे थे उसके बड़े भाई लात मार रहे थे और वो बंदी बैठ के ये बता रही है और मुझे वो बोल रही है कि अब मुझे किसी चीज़ का डर ही नहीं लगता मेरे बाप ने मेरे ऊपर हाथ उठाया ये मेरे भाई मुझे लात मार रहे हैं हम लाइक तुम्हारे भाई तुम्हारे ऊपर हाथ कैसे उठा सकते हैं तो उठाते हैं कोई बोलता नहीं है बट सी दैट इज़ द पॉइंट दैट दीज थिंग्स हैपन डेट पीपल डोंट टॉक अबाउट and that's the problem which i see that i feel in terms of humor like as stand up comics i think you can at least talk about things up on stage by just adding humor and spread awareness and there are so many things that we do we just neglect like when i talk about domestic violence people like why are you talking about this is just not the right kind of topic that you should talk about and by statistic by statistics one out of every three women in this country have faced some kind of domestic violence so how do you normalize even talking about that you cannot just by going unfiltered right so if things are happening you should be able to like people say that you shouldn't abuse at shows yeah and i'm like ki everyone is abusing everyone like near men to for sure women <laughs> women at least bhi karte hain ha like ha aajkal ladkiyan bhi bolte hain ki le lo mera khair chodo <laughs> like <laughs> get my <laughs> yeah <laughs> हाँ वो अरे मेरे को बोलती है तेरी गांड मार दूंगी एंड आई एम लाइक कि थोड़ा सा तो इलॉजिकल है ये तो द पॉइंट बीइंग कि अगर सब अब्यूज कर रहे हैं यू यू हैड अ विजुअल ऑफ मी गेटिंग फक्ड बाय अ वुमन व्हाई वुड यू थिंक लाइक दैट माय माइंड रेसेस आई नो आई आई नो आई एम क्यूट बट बट सी वी जस्ट डिस्कस फ्रॉम लाइक डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस टू लाफिंग अबाउट इट ओवर एन अब्यूज टॉपिक एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट स्टैंड अप डज It's like you were just like just 50 seconds ago we were discussing about someone going through so much, yeah. and the next three three seconds or 30 seconds after that we are laughing on the same factor. Yeah. And that's why by talking about this we can spread some kind of awareness is what I feel like. सही बोल रहे हो लेकिन वो जो बंदी थी ना वो vulnerable होने के लिए तैयार थी सब ऐसे नहीं होते हैं आज you and me have reached अ सर्टन प्लेस इन लाइफ वेयर कि हम बेझक बोल सकते हैं लेकिन बहुत सारे लोग अभी भी अपनी चीज़ें नहीं बताते हैं डर लगता है उनको वो लोग ये सोचते हैं कि इट विल बी यूज अगेंस्ट एम बी इट होमोसेक्शुअलिटी बी इट एन एडिक्शन टू पॉन अभी फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई देर इज वन पर्सन ही हैज अ किंक किंक है उनका 
अभी किसी का जो किंक होता है उनके लिए वैलिड होता है हमारे लिए छीची होता है राइट I had someone who had uh, I was doing some assignment in Dubai और ये बंदा मुझे बोल रहा था कि uh, ये assignment के लिए तुम्हें uh, you'll have to give golden shower hmm. golden shower ठीक है मुझे पत, आपको पता है golden shower लोग को को anybody knows what हाँ, golden shower से बाहर निकल गया हूँ आपको पता है golden shower क्या होता है मूत्र विसर्जन ठीक है on someone else on someone else अभी समझो विद कंसेंट विद कंसेंट ये किसी का किंक है ठीक है हाँ. अब मुझे जब ये बताया गया है तो पहले मैं तो मैं शौक में थी मेरी मैनेजर बोल रही अल्लाह तले क्या सुन लिया मैंने हाँ. कुछ लाइक like, वो प्रॉपर यू नो शी वॉज लाइक शी गॉट स्केड वॉट्स है आई ऑल्सो गॉट स्केड हम लाइक यार ये हमारे साथ हो रहा है कौन है किसका क्या है हाँ. फिर मैंने मेरी फ्रेंड को बोला मैंने बोला ये सुन यार मेरे बेस्ट फ्रेंड को कॉल किया मैंने मुझे बोला यार ये बोल रहा है ऐसे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बहुत बढ़िया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है मैं क्या करूं मैं नहीं कर सकती हूं भी तो बोला वो बोलने लगा अभी उसका पर्सपेक्टिव देखो ये किंग को लेके उसने बोला अरे कौन है मेरा नंबर देना मेरे को पैसे की जरूरत है मैं मूतूंगा उसके ऊपर सब जगह मूतूंगा मेरे चाहिए पैसे मेरे वेडिंग के लिए ये कॉन्टेक्ट्स जो कैसे मिलते मुझे वो ऐसे चार पांच कॉन्टेक्ट्स दे देना दस इंडियन मेज लाइक कि कितना पैसा था बताओ ना मैं भी सोच तो रहा हूँ अगर ज्यादा पैसा है तो अभी अभी ये बंदे ने अब अगर मैं एक बार ये करवा के अपना तीन साल का रेंट भर रहा हूँ मुंबई में तो मैं तो कहूंगा दो बार कर एक बार मेरे तरफ से फ्री में ले तू और प्लीज मैं तो वो बोल रहा मेरा मूत वेस्ट नहीं करना है वो मेरा मूत का वैल्यू होगा ऐसे like तो मैंने बहुत वेस्ट कर दिया लाइक शिट में अभी पॉडकास्ट के पहले ही अपने डेढ़ लाख रुपए बर्बाद करके यार मेरे को पता नहीं था यार शिट तो कमिंग टू द पॉइंट ऑफ आई एम जस्ट राइजिंग 5000 इयर्स ऑफ एवोल्यूशन बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस लाइक यार हम लोग हम लोग 2 साल 2 मास आन युद्ध करे वर्ल्ड वॉर करे ताकि एक अंदा बोले कि एक सुनो ना <laughs> <laughs> एक रिक्वेस्ट था छोटा सा <laughs> छोटा सा ही रहेगा क्योंकि <laughs> नहीं वो असाइनमेंट तो मैंने किया नहीं क्योंकि मैं डर गई मुझे लगा कि यार ये किंग के ए बट वुड यू बी कंफर्टेबल इफ आई आस्क हाउ मच मनी दैट दैट असाइनमेंट वाज गिविंग तो वो जो बंदा है मेरे मैनेजर को कुछ साड़ी तीन चार लाख दे रहा था यार और मुझे कुछ हां हम लोग हम लोग मेहनत कर रहे हैं यार क्या मैं क्या मेरे दिमाग में क्या आया पता है कि हाँ। क्या होता है ना दुबई के शेख लोग जो मतलब यू हाँ। नो you know, पता नहीं ये मूत्र विसर्जन तो एक चीज हाँ। है फिर बाद में वो लोग गले में पट्टा बांध के ऐसे डॉग की तरफ घुमाते हैं ये सब होता है बट लाइक यार डूड आई गॉट स्केयर्ड आई वाज आई कुड टोटली इमेजिन आई वाज लाइक यार मुझसे ये सब करवाएंगे यू नीड टू यू डू आल्सो नीड टू बी दुबई के शेख लुक फॉर श्योर फॉर श्योर फॉर दिस या इमेजिन एंड देन मैंने मी एंड माय इमेजिनेशन इज वाइल्ड ओके तो मुझे लगा कि ऐसे मैं कुत्ता वुत्ता कुछ बना बनाया जाएगा और सामने से ऐसे टाइगर को भी भेजेंगे वो लोग आई थिंक दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम विद एवोल्यूशन ना कि हम लड़कियों को अब बिच बोलते हैं और कुत्तों को गुड गर्ल डोंट यू Don't you feel that sort of? Yeah, yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> That's what evolution came down to. We call girls as witches and dogs as good girls, <laughs> like that. <laughs> I have one good girl at my home and a bitch. You know. <laughs> But you get my point. I get your point. And yeah. See, the thing is that guy had a kink. There are a yeah. lot of people have. I know one day, hmm. I was running for a while, and in front of me was a man. ये बैंड्रा में हो रहा है साढ़े पांच बजे सुबह ठीक है मैं मस्त भागने जा रही हूँ वो बंदा आया स्कूटर रुका दिया उसने बाइक रुका दिया एंड ही स्टार्टेड मास्टर बेटिंग राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी ओके और मैं एंड देन आई आई वेंट रनिंग बैक होम और मेरी एक फ्रेंड थी सुप्रिया भाई मेरे को आई स्टार्ट क्राइंग आई वॉट स्केड तो उसने वॉज आई एंग्री गैस मुझे ऐसे लगा कि भाई हो क्या रहा है फिर उसने मुझे बोला बिकॉज शी इज अ साइकेट्रिस्ट Then say you know this is a kink. I said क्या kink है भाई? This yeah, is just uh, bad yeah. education. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, what's it? Like, like, and I'll explain it to you. What he said, what she said is uh, this is a kink where men like to see fear in on women's face. That's a kink. This kind of kink is great when it's consensual. Uh-huh. When it's non-consensual, Non-consensual. it creates trauma reactions, right? It's a felony. It's, it's a, a crime. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, why is this happening? 
because people are not allowed to be vulnerable uh, somewhere makes sense for example today i have a kink ha huh. it's showing up in my mind again and again and again yeah. i can't sit and tell my friend because my friend is like chutia hai kya ha ye kai ka kink hota hai shaadi kar le you know, that's how sir rhymes say that even if someone has something which they cannot even share with other people they should rather kind of share with somebody yes. and yeah. and the other person should allow that space ki but they, tr- on lim lekin <laughs> nahi allow the space tere sa- matlab hamare sath to nahi kar rahe ho but make sun to lo ki yaar mujhe golden shower pasand hai ye mera king hai tum mujhe nahi karna hai kuch but sometimes you know a listening ear is also healing a yes. listening ear also creates space but the problem with india not india only i think across the globe yeah. is that when someone is saying something we automatically judge and start making fun and we start pushing them away mm. why can't you just hold the space he's saying she's saying that hey i know of a <coughs> of a dear friend of mine she likes she likes having in her body she has a system where she enjoys having sex like 7 to 8 times a day what's her number <laughs> <laughs> now now she th- if you ask me yeah. i am someone who has a different like i would not probably enjoy that many times i would get tired probably yeah. if i am going 8 times a day or everybody's preferences are different right yeah. but her bodily need is she structured she's checked her hormones that's what she likes now if she goes and tell someone we go aad bar karna acha lagta hai bolte kon rahega tere sath that's why we are calling women bitches like kon rahega tere sath but that's too much dude seven or eight times i don't know yaar but think about this way i have a life <laughs> like that's but the problem I, okay but i understand <laughs> yeah. you have a life now yeah. she, her life is this she has a uh, she has a syndrome uh-huh. where she enjoys sex that Seven many or times. Eight times it's wow. a syndrome it's a syndrome like if someone's syndrome is that um someone is asexual yeah that's a syndrome this yeah. is a syndrome and now if you call if you meet such a person and they are mm. sharing this in vulnerability mm. hey you know what lincia i i i feel i want to have sex eight times and that's who i am and i've tried i've gone to every person possible and everybody makes fun of me i i wouldn't make fun of her to be very honest dude you are laughing <laughs> right now she is a goddess for so many guys out there <laughs> there have been relationships and marriages where people wouldn't do it for years and someone okay Ma- that's yeah. that's something new that so i would like to meet this friend for sure though yeah aren't you dating someone i just checked online no i'm not dating anyone you're in a committed relationship no it's very where are you finding all these things i don't know oh, internet par likha hai ki ki aap committed no, no. relationship mein i don't have a girlfriend there's a very good mitch hedberg joke which is where it says like i don't have a girlfriend i just have a girl who gets mad when i say so <laughs> that's that's how i def- that's how i define my real interest from mitch, H- mitch hedberg is a great comedian one of the best comedians you know like very old time american obviously Like I don't have a girlfriend. I just have a girl who gets mad when I see. But I'm not in a committed relationship. Well, stand-up comedians get girls like this way because they're so funny and you know they have a way with girls. But it depends if you want girls this way. Also, like the girls who come this way, I don't think. At least I would want. Them. <laughs> you know, yeah. he doesn't want girls this way. How do yeah. you want your girls? Then? Do I like knowing the person at least for first one or two months? Like I like taking things slow. But I don't have because. What if I find someone and I fall in love with her, and after one month she is like, "Hey Vivek, I wanted to tell you something. Like, yeah, actually I like having it seven times a day, and I'm like, I cannot stand that. <laughs> I've got a life, so I feel I I take time when doing someone. I like going out on dates. I like going out on coffee. Uh, like having coffee with someone. I really like that because, again, like I take time because thoughts are always endless. While your physical looks. are kind of like a liability it will fade off down the road yeah. while your thoughts will get better so thoughts are assets for me so if i want to bet on something i'd rather want to bet on the thoughts which keeps on increasing down the road mm. that's why i take time to figure out that what i'm and that's why if someone is also like the girls who try to talk to me in terms of be it or like digitally or like offline at my shows 
I've got a very, I think, transactional fee. It's like she is my customer, and I'm the artist that she is trying to work. So I don't think you become the yeah. I don't think I'd ever want to do something like that to an audience member. Mm. I mean, that's a transaction. Like, that's like going to the shopkeeper because you like the shopkeeper. Shopkeeper is like, are you in there? And like, I don't want to do. I don't want to do that. That's very transactional. Is what I think. So audience member is all I don't prefer. And also, you like, you never I know. You may have the most. Amazing. No, I, I don't. Audience members, I don't. I, I, I specifically don't like having anything with my audience members. Also because ki they are very agreeable, no? Then because if someone likes me because of my work, that's not me. That's like something which I've worked on for four or five years. So the thoughts which you are liking are not actually me twenty four seven. That's just yeah. a spectrum of me. So that's why it's yeah. That's why I take time with women. If I want to go out with someone, I'll take my time. I'll try to figure out what they like. I'll try to figure out what I like. Also, I don't like having too many partners in my life because the more options you have, the worse it gets for the other mm. person that you're gonna end up with. So I feel I try to limit that to a few people and not explore too much in life. Wow. Yeah. I'm in a phase where I'm not meeting only anyone. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you are like I'm not meeting anyone as while in, calling someone for forty. No, as in yeah. like romantically. Yeah. Romantic. I would like to meet your friend though, like for sure. Now it's you. Why? Why okay. don't you are seeing someone? Why? Wow. Uh, my makeup artist is very happy with this question because she's trying to get me married since like four five years. Really? Yes. She's like, "Shadi kab kar rahi hai?" Hey, can I ask your age? Yeah. What's your age? I'm thirty four. Thirty four, and yeah. you're not married? No. Dude. I love you. It's not like, <laughs> like, like, dude. All the girls that try to talk to me are twenty one, twenty two, and I've always been like, I want someone who's got their life sorted out a little bit at least. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind being a housewife to you. <laughs> you're, like, <laughs> you're working enough, dude. Like, ha, housewife ki like kitti badiya. Main ghar pe baat ke khana khao aur so, saat aad baar. Okay, <laughs> tell, tell me, tell me, uh, what are the benefits of having a housewife? Like. Dude, I mean me. Yeah, having like me having as your as housewife. Your husband, yeah, you as my husband, yeah. yeah dude, I mean, I, I I know how to cook. Okay. I know how to make you smile. Okay. Hi. Dega. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to make you smile. And uh, what else do you want? Tell me, na. Then I'll check off that list. This is like a Vivek ka. I. Uh, so, uh, swamvar ho raha hai. It's your swamvar, <laughs> Lindsay or Zario. <laughs> But the only problem is if I would tell my father that I have married a Catholic. Ah, uh, <laughs> so what would he say? What would his reaction be? They would be like, "Ki nahi, hamare ghar pe aisa allowed nahi hai." And then you just tell them how much you earn. They're like, "Done." Acha, <laughs> like, yeah, that's how. Sindhi is a very. Acha, you are Sindhi ho. Ah, I'm Sindhi, you know, Samtani. Hey, Sindhi log to, matlab businessmen, business, unke khun mein hota. Bis, ha, to, but ah. also like, if you are good at doing your business, then I wouldn't be being mind being a housewife. It's gonna be so beautiful. You just come home and you're like, "Yeah, what are we eating today?" I'd be like, "Eating in the biryani, and at night in the dessert, we make some tani." Ah, so like, like that, that, like. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, that's better. My date, my dates, are also cute. I like, I like the fact that for you, like, you're a podcast. Why did you say coffee? Why did you say this? What are you doing? But yeah, I'll. I don't know. Honestly. You wouldn't mind marrying someone who's like maybe like ten years younger to you. No. Hi. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, like that. I wouldn't because I personally I have made like a I made like a vision board for myself. Where you've got me. It has words <laughs> so far. There's no picture words. that has come in it. Okay, words. And of a guy tall or short. It doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. Second. Thing. So, so it's called ADHD. <laughs> ADHD. Yeah. So it's okay. my manifestation for a man that. in life. And A is for he has to be super ambitious. Okay, okay I'll just check my views once. Sorry. <laughs> go on, go on. Second. A super ambitious. Yeah. H is for he has to be super humorous. Hi. Yes. A then D is he has to be a devil. Devil. Yes. I, What's a devil? I don't devil know. is basically. I don't think with this stature I can be a devil. Devil is basically being naughty. 
प्लीज विल टॉक अबाउट दिस आफ्टर द कैमरास आर नॉट वी हैव फाइव सेवन पीपल मोर हियर लाइक डेविल चाहिए हमको तो आई नो यू नीड टू बी वल्नरेबल एंड टॉक अबाउट योर किंग्स बट नॉट योर गेस्ट बट या विल फिगर समथिंग आउट डेविल ए डी एच एंड द लास्ट सो ए एंबिशियस डी डेविल एच ह्यूमरस एंड द अदर डी इज डेडिकेटेड डेडिकेटेड टू यू और लाइक टू बोथ both yeah dedicated to family me work yeah. so this is it's been hard to get this manifestations mm. yet it's not conspired now does it seem easy <laughs> <laughs> let's get to vulnerability <laughs> right now yeah just me being vulnerable you know that i want someone 10 years elder but i just do you like older women i think they are more sorted than so the thing that i take time uh, in terms of uh, knowing someone the young people that i meet like the young women that i meet i realize that they are not into knowing themselves that much better so it's always better to go someone who is around 28 or 29 or 30 and yeah. that's way better because they know their life better than perhaps you will of their own because i'm like a 22 year or 23 year old girl is still trying to figure out what she is yeah but i also i think that's the same with men as well i think at the age of 22 i, I didn't even knew what i was doing I just got out of my degree and I was like yeah, I don't know what's next but while right now at the age of 26 I'm very well read in terms of like what I want what are the things I want to do and how it's going to unfold and that might change in a few years but right now I'm very mature in the sense that I know where my life is going and I think someone who's 30 would would at least if I have to bet on the two things I would rather want someone who's elder what I have observed about dating younger men is this is Kulasa. <laughs> cool. I'm It's, very excited to know. I just feel they are sometimes very boyish, extremely boyish. Hmm. Oh, uh, in terms of, I feel. I'll as a woman. Not I, devil enough. <laughs> <laughs> not devil enough. I think they lack chivalry. Chivalry. And for me, and I want, I want to understand what's your take on chivalry. Hmm. And what is chivalry? Chivalry is this key. those little things right really matter what are the little things is like you opening the door yeah for yeah? sure yeah that's the most abhi main i remember is the mic fine yeah yeah the mic yeah, okay if, if if you need any help just <laughs> no, let me know i try to set it as you want <laughs> it's good yeah, it's go fine on. yeah the mic's fine the little things that i yeah so i think it's the um, i find that a miss in the younger lot you'd be like so for me that it's generally like the more you respect a woman is i think still be it any as much as equal rights women can get just opening a door and just try, trying to take care of women is the most sweetest thing which, which you can do which most men don't do i do it for sure just like is what i can say <laughs> 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 that's also, good i'm glad there are men like you obviously i'm glad that but more men need to learn this because hmm. i personally feel oh uh-huh, no i think there's lot of Uh, for me too that's that's the most basic thing that you should need to do at least when you go out on a date with someone opening the door and pulling the chair that's the do you most. do you believe in uh, like on a first date who pays so i have very mixed reviews on this hmm. uh, for me straight up answer could be like the guy or like i've i've heard a very uh, i don't know if this was some real where it's like whoever asks for the date is supposed to pay for the date because they are trying to invite someone to meet right hmm. so then you are the host So obviously, if say for example, if I'm asking out for a coffee, then I'm the one inviting you. Then I'm the host, so I'm supposed to take care of the bill. And this is the most beautiful explanation I've heard. If you are asking me out, then it's fine. But also, like, yeah, I feel uh, I like paying the bill, but I just want the girl to nudge that, hey, should we split? That's enough. If she says that, I'm like, yeah, my chutney is not getting wet. Yeah, th- yeah, that's my. Ha, ha, As everybody faces. Happens, this. right? Happens. A man would agree. Like huh? okay, so I'll tell you one thing. When yeah, when the bill comes, obviously I'm gonna pay, dude. Like I'm not saying that you're supposed to pay or I'm supposed to, but you being 34 can pay. I wouldn't remind you. <laughs> <Right. that. laughs> you've got more years to earn more. Is what I can say. Did I? But yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got more <laughs> years to. But the point, no, no. But if I ask you out, I would pay the bill. No issues with that. Uh, the point being that just try to nudge in, it in the direction that this is an equal situation, but let me pay the bill. and that confirmation between you two people that it's not about the bill it's about the conversation that you're having is way above than the bill is what i feel like vivek i have been on very weird i had one date hmm. where the guy called me up like my 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 best friend set me up okay hmm. she's like tu kuch nahi kar rahi hai zindagi mein career career kar rahi hai hmm. thoda date pe ja dekh tera market value kya hai 
What's market value? उसने मुझे ये बोला देख तू अभी ना तेरा एज बढ़ रहा है तू मार्केट वैल्यू चेक कर तेरा क्या है एंड शी टुक माई फोन and she put me on a dating app. I'm like बहन मैं ये सब नहीं कर सकती हूँ तू ही मेरे लिए मैसेज कर ठीक है तू ही मेरे लिए मैसेज कर शीज लाइक कितनी आलसी है यार तो यू हैव टू गो एंड सी वॉट्स दे आउट साइड देर आर सच अमेजिंग पीपल बट सी दैट द प्रॉब्लम वेन पीपल नज यू ओवर दैट डायरेक्शन इज टू पिट बिकॉज रैर दैन लाइक रैर दैन फाइंडिंग सम वन राइट नाउ यू नो बी सम Yeah. Right, and I feel that should be a better priority because if you are someone who who is something, yeah. you will eventually find a better match as well. So rather than trying to do the struggle of oh yeah, you will find a better match. Don't worry, yeah. he might come to your podcast someday. <laughs> okay. You know, yeah, you might discuss vulnerability <laughs> with him. You never know. Is what I'm trying. Very to say. nice pitch. Huh? You just never know. I'm not <laughs> hypothetically. Okay. Maybe a small town comedian, <laughs> but like, you get my point. Is what I'm trying do, to make. I do. I do. So. It's always be- also like the when people ask me that why am I not dating someone is because right now I know that my career is going to stay with me forever. Yeah. अगर मेरे पांच million views हैं आज मेरे एक video पे तो वो आने वाले समय में बढ़ेंगे ही वो कम नहीं होंगे. While being with someone, all my feelings that I'm investing they might deplete as well. Mm-hmm. And as I said that that's why I like going for older women because they have got a better learning of who they are. Because I don't know. I have a very good thought where it's like, are you a science student, commerce student, or arts student? Arts student. Oh, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You are doing fine in life. <laughs> what I'm trying to say in science, you've you've ever read about reactions? Reactions. Yeah, just the chemistry reactions. Yeah, a little bit. Or what are chemistry reactions like? Just normal. Yeah. What are chemistry reactions? Yeah, what is chemistry technique? Chemistry is apart from the one that we have. What is chemistry <laughs> that chemistry, we learnt about? The chemistry is when two people come together. Yeah, no, no, that's the, the artistic answer. Yeah. What is chemistry in general? Chemistry what are reactions? Me, um, like one element trying to react with other yes. element to form something. Yeah. So I feel that people are trying to find that other element and to fo- form something else. While I feel the reaction is you. You're trying to find something to be a better version of yourself. and hence forth in a reaction there is always a catalyst catalyst is something which speeds the reaction or slows down the reaction hmm. so i feel if you want to find someone see them as a catalyst hence forth if you find the right person the act as a catalyst which speeds up the reaction which helps you get better to where you want to go hmm. but if you find a bad catalyst it would slow down your reaction so another person in life is a very it can be a very lacking thing while it can be a very motivating thing as well Mm. while well, you don't know what kind of person you're trying to pick so it's better to stay back and see where it's going initially to figure out that ki okay i want this person i want this person i want like i figure it's, out it's it's also about being vulnerable right i think yeah because hmm. okay so like when you are with someone as i said ki jo shadow wale theory thi, when you're trying to be with someone you will share all your flaws that's the hard part i think no, that's not the hard part so i've got a very good theory which i discuss on dates hmm. <laughs> So I generally feel if two things are perfect, they'll always just remove very easily if they are too perfect. Well, if you fill in the gaps or voids, then that's when you actually stay with someone and you cannot just leave, right? So I have to figure out your voids and fill into those, and you have to figure out, figure out my voids to fill into mine. Hence, so we can be like actually mellowed up into something. Why you become a stand-up comedian? You should become a relationship coach. Love you too. What? <laughs> uh, but <laughs> like, this is not relationship. The, but the it is. It. I like the metaphors you use, man. The, the the more I read, the more I know about life, and henceforth for stand up also have to read more. And the more I read is the clearer vision. When people ask me, what are the things you do to impress a woman? I'm like nothing, because if you are impressing someone, you're trying to get out of your way to impress them. While rather being vulnerable and letting her know you better. You're not trying to impress her. You're trying to figure out what she is. She's trying to figure out what you are. Because so are you being vulnerable or are you impressing? You. Yeah. Do you think I'm impressing you? No, I'm asking whether I'm asking you, you the question. If you feel I'm impressing you, then it's good for me because I'm <laughs> just being myself. I, yeah. But the point being that if you impress someone, then after you've got them, you would slow down your efforts. Mm. While the efforts that you got, like that you did to get that person, now that person is not feeling the same efforts. So if you're impressing someone, that's the worst thing that you can do. Is what I feel like. Rather than just be yourself and tell what you are, just be vulnerable in relationship, stage, life, wherever you can. Because 
that's what life is all about right mai there's a beautiful quote which i have thought in my life ki koi insaan jitna adhoora hota hai na wohi cheez usko utna pura banati hai if you wouldn't have flaws what what would make you for perfect har insaan whenever you see jo bhi sabse top tier from shahrukh khan to like any random uh, I, i don't know if that's the how, that's the way i would main abhi rickshaw wale mein hai to that's the last person i know so from shahrukh khan to anyone that i would talk about everyone have have their own flaws don't you think shahrukh khan has his flaws obviously he would have his flaws but mm-hmm. he seems perfect because he's he knows what his flaws are the way he discusses things and hence for everyone has their own flaws so you think discussing flaws is embracing your vulnerability the more you hide them the more it's going to make you feel insecure is what i feel like like i am short i don't i don't tell someone that i'm like i i'll be very honest mere shoes mein bhi heels hota hai recording time mai mai kisko kis se chhupayega and the moment i discuss that what will you say to offend me i already told you that what my insecurity is there is nothing that you can tell me which i don't already know In Game of Thrones, I think there's a line. You've seen Game hmm. of Thrones? Yeah, I've seen Game of Thrones. Like he says, I, I love Tyrion remember. Lannister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for yeah, obvious he, reasons. He, <laughs> he's, no, he also <laughs> says that wear your weakness on your sleeve so that nobody Be, can you. Something he says uh, that. Oh, I remember Be, this. Ha. Uh, wear your weakness as an armor uh, yeah. because the world is gonna. World is never gonna let you forget what you are. Yes. He says this to Jon Snow, yeah, who's yeah. a bastard. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wear it like an armor. Yeah, that, that's what he says, and that's true, because even Tyrion, given in the spectrum, if you would see, he is a dwarf, yeah. while he is the most intellectual person out there. So that's what, and that, and I think that was the great depiction of how a flawed person can be so influential as well, while knowing that he, mm. being a dwarf, is an. Mm. I wouldn't call it a disability. No, it's not a disability. What dwarf what is- dwarfism? Anyone knows it. ये वो मेरे को पता है cards are your kismat but your play is your choices choices yeah so the point being ki kuch kuch to hoga kismat ke haath mein par us kismat ko khelna kaise ho tum pe it's actually not the uh, it's not just the talent i think it's also the ability to use your choices wisely in life oh yeah that that can really change the spectrum hmm. of your life it's the choice i think like if i would have decided in the Like by the fourth or fifth podcast, I remember saying, "How am I going to be doing this?" And mm. and I'm so glad that you know you're at it yeah. and you make the choice. I made the choice of you know calling out to you, you hear. So I don't think we. I think we are, are a sum of our. And choices. suddenly things just happen, right? You just meet the guy and say, <laughs> <laughs> "You get the point." I do. I do. Happens a lot though. Even when I came, like when I was coming to Mumbai, when you asked me. at hey would you be ready yeah. to just come i was like yeah why not and i was supposed to leave on wednesday was like yeah, i'll just wait one or two days no issues with that i might someone else <laughs> in life but like <laughs> see but you get my point see, i do yeah, get I your point too bas mera ho gaya podcast i am uh when you've got a very netflix kind of a name dude like yeah, lincia rosario being born with the name lincia rosario in india is like super power dude And do you feel so? Vivek Samtani is like. What does Samtani mean? Do you like have a lot of so, Samtans uh, or something? No, no. So we are Sindhis. So Sindhis came from uh, Sindh. Ha. Huh. Sindh is the border of Pakistan and India. Ha. Huh. So usually Ani in Sindhi means vansh, vanshaj. Okay. So जैसे जो सबसे influential उस family के early age में रहते थे तो जैसे मेरे किसी पूर्वज का नाम Samt होगा Samt. संत 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 नहीं है संतानी है सेम तो संत किसी का नाम होगा संत से कुछ रिलेटेड तो ऐसे ही संत के वंश से संतानी निकल के वैसे बना तो ऐसे ही इफ यू नोटिस द लॉर्ड ऑफ सिंधीज वुड हैव ए एन आई एट द रेंड लाइक एलानी लाइक बगचंदानी एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर सर नेम्स दैट आर सिंधी मूलचंदानी भगवानी सारे कोई भी जितने भी सिंधी होंगे सारे लास्ट में आ नहीं रहे आप भी सिंधी हो नहीं नहीं आपका नाम क्या है सर 
Farhan? Farhan. In, in India, a Farhan name is... <laughs> <laughs> See, you got the better half of Lindsay yeah, Lins- yeah, Rosario. Yeah. That's but my name gets mispronounced quite a bit when that's totally fine. I'm very chilled Lins- out. Rosa- and Rosario, like, uh, you, you belong to some other so, country so or like you were like. I am a where East Indian. Your ancestors, ancestors? So, East, Indi- East, East Indian. So, my family has. Britishers a, and all. Uh, Portuguese. Leaders. Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, like, Portuguese came to Goa initially. Yes, right? yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I have a. Spanish p- and uh, French went to Madras side. Perhaps. Yes. I don't know much. Yes, but maybe. something yeah. similar. And then Britishers. In <laughs> Mumbai. Yeah. The British started from Kolkata. Then in Mumbai, I think they had their base, right? So Mumbai, they started, Delhi, from, Mumbai, they started Delhi. from East India Company in Kolkata because they started paying way more taxes to Mughals uh, just to get the trade. Uh, in Mumbai, Spanish used to trade initially. Oh, I wasn't aware. Yeah, Are Spanish. you sure? It was yeah, Portuguese, sure. right? Portuguese, Spanish. So Portuguese, French and Spanish. Uh, people used to rule the trade in India dominantly and dominantly from Mumbai side it was Spanish. But uh, because Britishers wanted to take care of the trade initially from Sulu, so they they, uh, they preferred to pay more taxes and gifts to Mughal emperors to get to be their friends and eventually start the East India Company in Kolkata. Wow. You seem like a hist- history buff. No history. I'm like the more I read the better I get in stand up now. Yeah, yeah. 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 And because I know history I am into older women. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know history better. You have some you have some <laughs> lovely king. Not king. No, it's no, not, not a king. Not a king. It's it's I, a I told you the reason because it's way better. And why do you think women go for elder guys? You asking me that? Yeah, because I mean as you said that uh, the boyish people don't know how to respect a woman yeah. better. That's certainly the lack of education system in terms of like they were not told to be treated how the woman should be treated. And I just like chivalrous men and I think yeah, men it, Chivalry is dead in the young boys. Yeah, I just feel they're very... <laughs> I don't know whether you guys agree there are a lot of boys in the house here. The shoes are not hurting you, right? No, it's okay, not. Just it's like covered and <laughs> safe and it makes me yeah. feel very warm. No, Thank no, you that's for asking. True. So the thing is that women seek old, elder men is because of the same reason is why elder men are way more providing in nature than a young boy would be but th- that's what also you know. like in terms of if you would see uh, a woman gets starts to get a periods around the age of 12 while a boy would reach his puberty age around 15 or 16 so the four to five years gap of puberty is the reason why biologically we are supposed to marry someone a woman is supposed to marry someone three or four years older but tell me this do men also have a concept of periods Periods in sense? Like I've heard, I've come across a... Yeah, what? That I've got periods? <laughs> no. <laughs> An article that you uh, all My also mood swings. <laughs> yeah, you also have chumming time. Like you all... No, like you all don't chum chum. Chum... It's not... Y'all are not chumming. We, I've never fe- felt any period cramps. N- no? No, nah, I like, don't think... Do you have men. like hormonal kind of changes inside you? Yeah, but that's very creepy to discuss for men is what I feel. <laughs> No, the best I know of, like, the I think there are four men here. The the worst we know is nightfall, I guess. That's it. In terms of puberty, nightfall is the only thing which we go through, I guess. Okay, so that. that's the only hormonal effect yeah. that you'll have. Also, like, I think uh, we are not told about so many things, so we have to figure it out on our own. And henceforth, sex in our generation and like the sex education is so suppressed that we don't even know how to handle it properly. Have you spoken to your mom or your dad about sex? Never to my parents about it. Oh, like, not, my mom found my condom once. What did she do with it? No, she, she found it, like, what is this? So I was, I keep touring, right? And we just found it and she was like, what is this? What is this? Tumhare umar mein hum to ye sab nahi karte the. And I'm like, mom, I'm 26 right now. Meri umar mein tumhare do bachche the. So tum in sab se to zyada hi karte the. <laughs> And she's like, exactly, we don't use this. I'm like, yeah, hey. <laughs> like, are you yeah. debate over here? Ah, so, so, yeah, so, so, so. Also, like, he, they, she wouldn't even say the word sex at all. You know, I took my. I, she, she is just like, you have to keep your friendship limit. Mein rakha karo. Achha, That's friend. her way of saying that not have sex with women. So she is like, Ladkiyo se friendship aap limit me rakha karo. And I'm like, Mommy, friendship nahi rehti, yahi problem hai, aap samjho. Wohi sab se wadi problem hai, chuske, like, chup karo, isa bakwaas baate mat kiya karo. Achha, aise chuli. But my parents are very chill. 
I remember, I remember taking a, I was in third standard, uh, yeah. Vivek, and uh, I took a magazine to my mum and I saw this really nice word. So I said, Mama, what is this S-A-E-X? She's like, show me. I'm like, this word, Mama. So she's like, okay, you got this magazine. Why you got this magazine? Fart karke mara mujhe. Exactly your point. So the point of that being that it's suppressed and we're not told about it. So again, like for a man to respect a woman, we need to be told what you go through as well. I've, I do this on my shows sometimes, at my shows. I would ask men that at what age they actually got to know about sex. Right, most of the people answer 4th standard, 5th standard, 6th standard. And then I ask them, do you know what periods are in general? 75% to 80% of men are uncomfortable even talking about it. And most of them don't even know what it is. So that's they the don't irony. Know what is period. Most of the men don't do know. Do we what know period. The, what is periods, Yogesh? I mean, in, in this city, though, you would expect people to know because it's yeah. Mumbai, people are way more. Yeah. But even if I'd asked, like, point to point, what periods is, one of these guys would get a little uncomfortable talking about it because it was suppressed initially. So, what I'm trying to say, and men know about sex from fourth standard, fifth standard. And that's the irony in our system that we know about stopping the periods <laughs> before actually knowing about periods. And that's just one small problem which you go through and that's gonna also like, we can overcome by just by talking about it. By I being a little more unfiltered, hmm. vulnerable and more addressing to the facts which people don't talk about. Now people will be like, periods ke baare mein baat mat kar. Yeah, I know. But I am someone who always goes around and talks about something which, I talk about mental health issues that even men face at my shows a lot. And that's the most beautiful thing which I've realized. I also feel that a lot of women Mm, when we talk about orgasms, like there are a lot of women who get orgasms very late in life mm. because they don't know how to get an orgasm or they have never experienced it with them. Women have orgasms? <laughs> women do have orgasms, of course. <laughs> I'm kidding, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure you know. Yeah, I know, it's a, it's a joke. I, I know. know, I know. So, I think it's a real, like when I chill with my girlfriends and I speak to them, like, there are people in their 40s who have never Good. experienced an orgasm. Again, the point which I'm trying to say, the suppressed emotions are the same topic. If It's like we are never told that every woman body is different, needs to be satisfied in a different way. We are not, never told about those things. Because I remember I used to do old stuff on my new girlfriend. She used to be like, your technique is wrong. And I'm like, who is going to change the syllabus? If I'm doing IIT for 4 years, I'm preparing for IIT. Don't give me an exam for IIM, is what I'm trying. So because men are not told that how every body of a woman is way more complex than a guy is. Yeah. It's the same reason why women have not experienced orgasms. I also feel men don't at times make you feel safe. Make yeah, you obviously. feel safe in terms of a woman will um, for example, like I was someone who was not very uh, okay with, you know, a man touching my breasts. There was mm. a point in my life when I, you know, emotionally, I was very uncomfortable with it mm. because of my past, because of some stuff Something that happened in my childhood. Exactly. Now, this guy who was dating me, I remember jab wo mere paas, when, when this happened, he approached me, he tried stuff and I was like, no, hmm. I wish he would have just created a safe space to talk about it and to talk about it. Yeah. He just gave up. He just like, he didn't. Um, and, and when we broke up, he, he said, you know, you, uh, you know, when I used to come to like touch you, you used to push me away. And I used to say that, but you didn't create that safe and space. That's exact the kind of glorification that I was talking about. The ego attached to a man is because of lack of education is the same that I come back to is because we weren't told about these things and also like while knowing that every woman has gone through something in her past and you need to at least talk about it to figure out where she's coming from yeah. right so that's the word which was and that is why I feel when will people be more vulnerable what are the th three so th things that we must do to be vulnerable this is exactly uh, the moment which changed my life by the way so like the first girlfriend that i did like the first girl that i dated uh, she was saying like she got she got uncomfortably touched by someone when she was young and whenever i used to talk to her she used to like act a little uncomfortable and after a point we were very comfortable in terms of like having that physical intimacy but i remember when she didn't know that i was touching her she used to tremble a little bit and that's the one thing which i start talking about on stage as well 
and there are so many top like there are so many stats which don't even come up because people don't talk about it enough like you think that a woman is unsafe when she goes out of her house after 6 or 7 pm or maybe when she goes to a different city which where people doesn't know while 80 to 90% of the registered cases are always related to someone in their family or extended family tree or fam- neighbor or something like that so realize that women are not even safe inside their house sometimes because of the lack of education that we give them and again talking about this is a reflection of our society in terms of like we will not tell the men what to do exactly and then not even tell them what exactly to do and that's the spectrum which we always go through and this wo jo spectrum ka wo jo gap hai wo tabhi kam hoga jab in sab jab in sab cheezon ke bare mein baatein hogi ab wo kaise bhi ho stand up se ho kisi ke ghar pe ho kisi ke school pe ho kisi ke seminar pe ho koi baap apni beti ko pata hai koi baap apne bete ko pata hai koi maa apni beti ko pata hai koi maa apne bete ko pata hai is the thing that we should talk about because उन सब की बातें होंगी तभी तो वो लोग सेफ फील करेंगे ना और तभी मैं अपने शोज पे तो प्रेफर करता हूँ कि मैं कुछ फिल्टर नहीं रखूँ क्योंकि मेरे को पता है कि अगर मैं ख़राब हूँ तो मेरे से ऊपर पचास चीज़ें और हैं जो इस देश की ख़राब है जो तुम निगलेक्ट करके मेरे को ख़राब बोलने आ रहे हो इज़ वॉट आई फील लाइक और अगेन द थिंग ट्राइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट माई फर्स्ट गोल मैन आई अंडरस्टूड हर बेटर फॉर वन मंथ इज़ वेन आई गॉट कम्फर्टेबल विथ हर एंड शी गॉट कम्फर्टेबल विथ मी and then she told me like even though like it didn't work out after one she told me that because you were very understanding is when i figured out how to convey to the other guy what i want to convey and i was like that's exactly the and i'll i'll be very honest i've always been privileged in terms of having financial stability because of my father i don't like to touch wood and stuff but <laughs> yeah this is what changed my 40 years hard work of my dad abhi parso hi pura gaan mar jata tha nahi ka waise bhi ye kar diya na aur mera baap ka pura bajiya dhanda hua hai kya bacha hai baap ko call kar ke bole are tera factory maine bachaya pura load kaise are wood ka table pada tha samne do log ne jaake touch kiya do log maine aapki bahu se bhi touch karwa liya ab ghar mein lag भी आ रही है लक्ष्मी का नाम क्या लिंसिया रोजारियो अब भी आओ वापस तेरी माँ लाइक तेरी माँ आज मैंने कहा पापा फिर से नहीं मेरे को और नहीं करनी अपनी जायदाद आधी और तभी जायदाद आधी हो गई समझ रहे हो पॉइंट भी कि आई वाज ऑलवेज प्रिवलेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ हैविंग दैट फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी बट माई पेरेंट्स ने सपोर्टेड मी इमोशनली and in terms of the only reason i was very comfortable with that girl is because she gave me the emotional support and that's exactly the reason i am a stand up comic today that she gave me the spectrum of period and stuff like that to talk about it on stage and that small thing that actually came into my life changed my life because that video got 5 million views wow. just by talking over it and i'm pretty sure that she cheated on me <laughs> but <What? laughs> that's another story yeah i mean so i mean i don't blame someone when they cheat cheat on you like again so me discussing this i can be like yo a girl left me but me being vulnerable and talking about a girl left me is because it's her life we all by cheating on me she gave me a spectrum that okay i was not probably the one which yeah. she wanted and she is not probably the one i'd want but imagine it gave me a career out of it wow i'm pretty sure if she wouldn't be there i wouldn't be doing stand up and i'm pretty sure the guy that she left with she loved her for 10 years like and she was uh, like he was her best friend so it's fine i mean at least she gave me so much to love about in respect of leaving me at the right time we got a stand up comedian yeah. i got you on the podcast yeah when you said i got you and i like yes <laughs> yes and like on the podcast like shit wo cut karke main dekhta rahunga fir raat ko <laughs> but uh, lastly i want to ask about stand up comedians and how they go about making money money ओके अच्छा तो टेल मी दिस सच्चा प्यार या बारह करोड़ क्या चूज करोगे सच्चा प्यार या बार ये वाला सच्चा प्यार तो नहीं लूंगा सच्चा प्यार यू हैव द लव ऑफ योर लाइफ बट एंड दिस इज हैपनिंग लाइक थिंक अबाउट दिस यू हैव द लव ऑफ योर लाइफ शी सिटिंग राइट देयर हां आई कैन सी दैट या एंड एंड यू हैव अ बैग ऑफ सो इट्स इदर यू और 12 करोड़ Um, I just initially started the podcast and I called you priceless. So you are way more than twelve crores, is what I can say. Hey, hey, hey. Also, hey. मेरे को पता है मेरा बाप मुझसे सच्चा प्यार करता है तो उसने कहीं ना कहीं बारह करोड़ मेरे लिए तो रखे होंगे. <laughs> Good one. ना सिंध हाँ उसने कहीं ना कहीं अगर अगर तुम्हारा बाप तुमसे सच्चा प्यार करता है तो उसने दस करोड़ तो रखे होंगे कहीं. तो आप काफी हो फिर तो क्या बात है मतलब क्या ही बोले अभी देखा ऐसे ही trust नहीं करना होता लॉन्डे झूठ बोलते हैं हाँ 
फिर trying to approach that top 15 top 30 wala thing uh, but you need to realize that you can never do stand up comedy for money i generally feel like that also for the first 3 or 4 years you don't even know that you're going to earn money for the first 3 years i never knew that's why you need to belong to a privileged family as well or either a working class background where you know that you have a stable job as well kyunki pehle 3 4 saal aapko paise nahi milenge guarantee nahi hai और कितने मिल सकते हैं उसका भी नहीं क्योंकि जो अभी टॉप फिफ्टीन टॉप फाइव मैं अगर टॉप फाइव के अपने पापा को दिखाता हूँ कि पापा ये ये कॉमिक्स इतने उनकी फट जाती है वाली इज बिन बिजनेस मैन टू टॉप फाइव और अर्निंग लाइक क्रेजी कौन है मैं नाम लेना चाहूंगा बट फिर उन लोग अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इन इंडिया लाइक ओके सो इट कुड बी वेरी वेरीड लिस्ट फ्रॉम अदर पर्सन टू पर्सन बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट मॉडर्न स्टैंड अपर दंस दट आई नो The top five that I would know in this country would be, or at least top three would be Abhishek Manu, Zakir Khan, and Abhis Anubhav Singh Bassi. These three are top tier in India. Like now, if you, I don't even know what they're earning. Would be perhaps, but I'm pretty sure if I even try to reflect from my point of view, they are very happy. Is what I can say. So hmm. there is scope for stand-up comedians. Yeah, that's why I re- rejected the twelve crore rupees because uh-huh. I know I'm going to get twelve crore on my own anyway. But I don't know if I'm going to find true love on my own. If it's being offered to me at a podcast, so you never know is what I can. You say. are going to get a lot of DMs coming today. Like whenever the podcast goes live, बहुत DMs. I would just look for one. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would like. You get my point. I do And get your point. I think if like in terms of my spectrum, YouTube pays well enough. Uh, live shows will pays well enough. Once you've got your name around the corner, and people, if you have something which people wanna buy, people will find you. If I like you had a conversation with me, so you realize that I'm very not just funny, but in terms of being well read to like what I have situations in life, and so being artistic is the only thing that we have, right? Mm. So you need to be very well read in terms of what you're trying to present, and if you present a value to people, it's the most beautiful. Laughter is an emotion which I feel is equal for everyone. What I'm trying to say that if you are sad or if different people are sad here. they would have a series of emotion someone would be more nervous more anxious more irritated while feeling that sadness while someone would be depressed but for example if you are happy in terms of laughing if you are laughing if i am laughing or any if a, an under underprivileged person laughing or ambani is laughing while they are laughing they are equally forgetting every moment in their life mm. while you are laughing or and henceforth in a room when there are 50 people when i am trying to tell jokes Fuck my life. At that point, they've paid five hundred bucks to forget all the problems and to laugh for one hour. In that one and a half hours, they're trying to buy that free space of laugh where they've forgotten all their problems. कि जो जो इंसान की मरी हुई है ज़िंदगी में वो साथ में मिलके हँस रहे हैं क्योंकि बाहर जाने के बाद उनकी फिर से मरेगी वहाँ पे आने तक उनकी फिर से मर रही थी ट्रैफिक में भी मर रही थी ट्रैफिक में फिर मरेगी पूरी दुनिया आपके सामने घूम घूमेगी बट उस डेढ़ घंटे में जब तक उनने वो प्रिवलेज और प्रिविलेज आर्ट फॉर्म है क्योंकि जिस देश में हंसने के लिए लोग 500 दे रहे हैं अपने पॉवर्टी लाइन दिन का तीस रुपए है वहां पे लोग 500 रुपए हंसने के दे रहे हैं तो प्रिविलेज आर्ट फॉर्म तो है तो यू नीड टू नो द डायनेमिक्स ऑफ व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग इनटू एज वेल इज व्हाट आई फील लाइक एंड इट्स गोना टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू एक्चुअली बी अ कॉमिक एंड आई फील व्हेन यू लव समथिंग इनफ यू नेवर सी इट एज अ स्ट्रगल हु इज द वन पर्सन द वन थिंग इन दिस लाइफ दैट यू लव द मोस्ट लेट्स दैट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद वन पर्सन Apart from me, what? Which is the what? Who is the one? I think my brother. John. Your brother. Yeah. Uh, hypothetical situation again. Yeah. Right now you're doing this podcast, okay? Uh, just when you're about to end this podcast, you have another podcast, right? Yes. 
uh, and you get a call that your brother is in kind of an emergency and he, he might need you at the hospital yeah. right you would leave all this to yes. go there yes. no matter how tired you are how you look what you're wearing or what you're not wearing yeah you would take a cab if if cab would come you would take the cab if an auto would come you would take an auto yeah and if it comes down to like you just taking a lift from someone you take that just to meet that brother yeah why do you do that because you love that brother unconditionally so much yeah. that you don't see the struggle at all when you love something you will skip all the struggle is what i feel like that's why if i got into stand up to be up on stage and be where i am right now i never even thought for one day that i was struggling while i was struggling if some third person would look at it and like ye kya chup kiya gaan marwa raha hai itna acha business hone ke baad bhi engineering ki degree ke baad bhi bahar jana pura ho gaya tha confirm fir bhi ye chutti aap kar raha hai but now when they see me they like because i just loved it enough wow. hence for the relationships you go up up and beyond like open the door and you should be i, I think uh, other than i other than being a stand up comedian your second career should be relationship coaching I, you will my I, friend mint man i don't think i can be a relationship coach you will be damn good at it trust i'll me. try one relationship and let's see how it goes <laughs> but but it's very wrong i am not in relationship and i'm giving you advice how to i think it's also <clears throat> the, the way you observe things your experiences so you don't need to be like you that, sometimes don't need to you need the accreditations you uh, don't listen to me i'm still a stand up comedian if you like something oh well and good but zindagi mein sab ki gaan mar gaye par aap aapko jidhar se marwani hai marwao jiski marni hai maro mere ko beech mein mat lao bas mere 500 rupaye ya 400 rupaye ke ticket khareed ke mere shows pe aa jao jo bhi hai yahan pe that's more than enough but vivek i absolutely love doing this podcast with you i think for me the greatest learning in this podcast was to be okay to fail in in being vulnerable yeah if you want to be vulnerable there is a, there is a give off you know taking that risk and being okay to taking fail. that risk right taking that risk with and young with young boys <laughs> yes maybe with yeah young boys finally too. the podcast is over mera jo kaam tha mere ghar maybe with young know. boys too because yeah. unless boys, we don't put ourselves young, out young young short guys who open the door for you yeah more than enough yes all the so this is a hope to all the short guys out there <laughs> from small towns uh, you can talk to girls named lincy or rosario yes and ask them out and pay the bill hai na are just when i thought are aap ko podcast of halka film float karoge na bahut perfect jayenge ha bolo yes yes you want me to say yes like yes. right now Ach- See, we'll women take time. That's an orgasm. I like. So I, I, I like build-ups. I'm slow. You like slow, right? Let's yeah, I like. But but. मतलब ऐसा अगर आप yes बोल दोगे ना तो ऐसा end podcast. अच्छा, तुमको climax भी चाहिए. हाँ, climax. वही तो. देखो, ये climax के लिए ना थोड़ा time लगेगा. ठीक है. ये build-up थोड़ा slow. तो मैं अगले podcast में आऊँगा दोस्तों for sure. But thank you so much. Thank you, Lindsay. It was really very incredible. You've been the most vulnerable. I think you are an epitome of ADHD. Of of vulnerability uh, of ambition <laughs> humor is what yeah yeah but you were thank you so lovely Bye-bye. thank you so right. much thank and i'm you. sure my viewers out there they absolutely enjoyed you want to say something shows pe aa jao bas aur kuch nahi that's the only thing which i hum log ka kaam hi bas yahi hai ki aap aapko agar hasana hai to shows pe aa jao mere ko bill bharna hai kyunki main main nahi kama pa raha hu kisi pe mood ke 4 lakh is the only thing which i'm going to end with <laughs> अगर आप मेरे पे करना चाहो और चार लाख मेरे को मैं चालीस हजार में भी शायद मान जाऊंगा <laughs> तो चार हजार नहीं थोड़ा ज्यादा कम हो जाएगा बट दैट इज द ओनली थिंग इफ यू वाचिंग दिस आल्सो बिग शार्ट आउट टू लिंस फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी शी इज ऑल द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल पर्सन आई नो आई कैन नॉट इवन नोटिस दैट शी इज wearing makeup good a good kudos to that <laughs> girl who's been working on it uh, so yeah thanks a lot thank, thank you thank you so thank much you. Uh, and do like share subscribe comment on the video agar aapko acha laga and pura video dekhne ke liye and comment uh, just to get a yes from lincia thank you everybody will go yes 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 that's what you going to say uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much Sorry, see you in the next podcast <laughs>